सो हाई गाइज वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल अगेन एंड टूडे वी आर बैक विद अन अदर वीडियो एंड एज यू कैन सी दैट आई गॉट अ लॉट ऑफ लॉन्चर्स लाइंग ऑन माई डेस्क सो ऑब्वियसली दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट लॉन्चर्स एंड आई वॉन्टेड टू मेक दिस वीडियो वेरी फास्ट बिकॉज इट्स अ बिट इम्पॉर्टेंट इश्यू हेयर सो गाइज टूडे आई एम गॉन टेल यू वाई यू डोंट हैव टू बाय अ फेक अल लॉन्चर और विच वन यू शूडेंट बाय सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो दिस वन इज स्टिल पैक्ड सो गाइज एक्चुअली दीज टू लॉन्चर्स आर सेम सो आई एम गॉन कीप दिस वन पैक्ड वन ए साइड फॉर अ वाइल सो गाइज दिस वन ऑल्सो इज प्रिटी न्यू लॉन्चर आई ऑर्डर डिट फ्रॉम एमेजॉन सो इट्स अ फेक वन सो गाइज एमंग ऑल दीज फाइव लॉन्चर्स दिस पर्टिकुलर लॉन्चर इज द ओनली टकारा टॉमी लॉन्चर सो आई होप इट कैन फोकस सो यू कैन सी टॉमी ब्रांडिंग ओवर देयर टॉमी वियतनाम सो दैट्स हाउ वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई एंड इफ यू होल्ड अ फेक लॉन्चर एंड अ टकारा टॉमी लॉन्चर विद द टच यू कैन टेल by the quality of the plastic that what is real and what is fake same goes for this guy actually this guy is pretty well built it's pretty close but when you when you come to the base you can feel the cheap plastic but apart from that it it's damn close this one is this one is absolute good copy so guys i'm going to keep real one aside for now it was just to give you a overview so guys i got three fake ala launchers right now so this one is rapidity version it's from felzone you can say rapidity flame whatever you want to call it because they are different apple from the same tree so it doesn't matter at all but this one guys this is the very newest uh, fake la launcher and it's pretty pretty bad quality i would say this plastic is not really that good so guys this was my first fake la launcher and this build quality is pretty amazing and this thing came from wish it's also a flame version so this is also pretty good i mean in terms of plastic but this one i recently bought from amazon but this plastic is is not really that great it's you know like uh, a little bit thin it's it's it doesn't seem as durable as these guys so in terms of durability obviously the original is way better these two are very comparable to original in terms of durability i am talking about this outer shell not this base so outer shell they are pretty good but this isn't we cannot even compare this guy to the original because it's not even close to these guys so the reason behind this video is i just want you to learn that these new fake ala launchers are really not worth your money so why this ala launcher is a bad news i'm going to open it and i will show it to you so guys before we do all that earlier these fake ala launchers used to come from china and the build quality is amazing and the inside material is pretty close what takara tommy uses so all the parts are pretty much you know like you can use with takara tommy launchers as well and they are they are pretty good they are fixable you can open it and you can fix it but these guys cannot be fixed and they broke pretty easily and i will open it and i will show you why they break so easily but before we do that so so the difference between these two launchers you can easily identify is the white base and this one is the black base so these new launchers are mostly made for db and sparking base so this base you know like is designed pretty much close to a db launcher so let me get a db launcher and let me compare with that so guys here i got my db launcher and you can see this base is pretty much they are trying to mimic the db launcher obviously it's not even close but but that's what they are trying to do with this new base because these base are having a hard time fitting on a db bay and that's why even in mine they are very roughly used because they have been used with db and sparking base and the flame and all they they replace the base and they replace the internal spring as well so guys earlier i bought uh, two of these and the base broke and not just even the base i mean base can be replaceable it's not a big deal we can get a base from another launcher and we can replace it the issue is spring if you broke it once it's really hard to get the spring fixed it cannot be fixed and why is that i will open it and i will show you so give me some time to open this guy and i'll be back so guys i have opened the launcher and the internals of launcher are lying in front of you on the table and you can see earlier this spring used to be very closed and the spring was flat it was not using this cheap kind of spring so guys i have barely used this launcher i have used this launcher like 2 3 times hardly i mostly use this launcher even after using 2 3 times you can see what happened to the spring guys so guys even after 2 3 launches this spring got tangled this much and i think like even in few days it's 
gonna be way more tangled that it cannot be used at all and that's what happened with one of my last launchers of this kind so guys a month back i bought some of these launchers and they broke after a few days of usage guys they broke and that's the problem with this new fake lr launchers because this spring they will break after a while and if this spring gets tangled a lot there is no fix so it's not like the old setup so guys i have opened the launcher and showed you that why this launcher is a bad idea so give me some time to put it back and i'll be back in a while so guys i have put together the launchers they are actually good they have good power in terms of power these launchers are powerful enough to launch a db bay and i have tested this launcher against a db launcher and it is very close i wouldn't say it, it has the same power but it's close so the new spring is giving a lot of power but at the same time this new spring will break in a week or two max to max within two weeks this spring is gonna get tangled and this launcher won't work anymore because i had faced the same issue with last two launchers of mine and it's just not the spring guys this base will also break so earlier the fake lr launchers used to have this base and this base does break but not that easily it's very flexible plastic this is not flexible guys this is not flexible so this base is gonna break and this spring is gonna get tangled and in a week or two this is not usable at all so whenever if you are trying to buy a fake lr launcher please try to avoid the launchers with the white base you can easily identified by base so guys this was just an informative video to share with you that these launchers are not worth it please try to avoid as much as you can so as you can see that i got two of these guys and two of these guys so these two guys i bought like two months back and they still work the same but these two guys i highly doubt they're gonna survive guys i have used this particular launcher like two three times and when i opened it you have seen how the spring is looking right now it's not looking good at all and that's the reason why these new lr launchers suck so guys don't buy it try to avoid it as much as you can buy the lr launchers with this black base so these black base lr launchers doesn't have this kind of spring inside they have that old spring in a plastic case and that is way better guys so guys that was pretty much info i wanted to give today so no battle for today sorry about that but i think this was also needed so that you guys can avoid buying these and save your money so guys that's pretty much it for today if you find this video helpful give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel and i'll see you guys in another video till then stay safe and happy blading